tonight we're gonna go over to Joel's house. Joel lives in that part of Brooklyn that girls think you live in when you say, hey, you wanna come back to my place in Brooklyn? something very important about jealousy right when my book came out. Well, don't fly into a jealous rage about it. Everybody who had a book all of a sudden started talking to me, and I had to do competitive readings. I had to go to book events all the time. I had to promote it like crazy and do interviews. All that was like kind of the fun stuff. But then this girl came along. I ran into her like a week before it came out. Her book had come out earlier that year, so she was like book expert all of a sudden. She like knew everything about books coming out. And that day I had news, I said, oh, uh, iTunes picked me as one of the best books of August. And she was like, oh yeah, that'll happen. Dude, fuck you. And the next thing I hear, she's off to LA, she's got her own TV show now, and she just disappeared. And I remember being like, what did I do wrong? I was jealous, I was like mad. My book was so much better, why come I, I'm not writing? And my friends were like, what's the name of the show? And maybe I shouldn't say this, but... The show is called Girlfriend's Guide to Divorce. And my friend said, you're never gonna wanna write on that show. Well, that just doesn't matter. It's that it's the principle of it. That was the year I learned something about jealousy. Okay, okay, but can you just acknowledge that, that you were being jealous? Already acknowledged. Because later that year, all of my friends were on the same TV show and I could not have been happier. And again, it's bizarre I should have to point this out. I consider myself sort of like New York City, class of 2004, 2005, like we all moved here together and I was like, I'm gonna be a writer. And they're like, I'm gonna be a comedian and I'm gonna be a screenwriter and I'm gonna be an actor and I'm gonna be a musician and I'm gonna be an artist, right? Here's the cast of BoJack Horseman. Aaron Paul, Will Arnett, and then all of my friends. Dave, my roommate from Chicago, is one of the voiceovers. Adam does a lot of the voiceover. Raphael is the head writer and the executive of the show. Lisa, you know how sweet Lisa is? When I got my first story in Esquire, she made me a print. It was a story about Lady Gaga, and she made me a print called Lady Pagaga and gave it to me just to be like, hey friend, I know this is a big deal for you. I'm happy for you. I have all of, oh my god, Raphael and Lisa have been drawing a comic for years. In fact, when I was trying to learn how to make videos, Lisa had drawn this thing and Raphael voiced it, and I put it together. It's my oldest YouTube video. You better do something um, about this baby. I'm a horse. And I have never once spent a second being jealous of them. Not jealous, just reminding you that- Those are my friends. That's my team. Those are my guys. Every time I see a poster, every time someone kid is like, Talking about Bojack or making a Bojack joke, it makes my fucking day. I'm gonna run and get the clips. This is what Lisa made me, Lady Pagaga. <laughs> and this is Lisa's comic. <laughs> hey Brendan, make me a dog woman. And that girl, I don't even think about her anymore. My jealousy was a huge waste of time. Huge waste of time. But this, Having your friends succeed, watching them do great things, it's inspiring, it's motivating. Tonight we're gonna watch it on the roof. It's Joel's house we're going to. Raphael, the creator. It's Adam, Dave, my old roommate. And I don't wanna to forget to mention that my friend Jesse does the music. And Jesse uh, made me like a bunch of R. Kelly songs that I like no one else would have back when we were starting in music. When she's with a man looking at me damn right, I'm a I brought cherries, I brought... Hello, friends. This is Raphael, Bob Westberg, and I have a very important message for all of you who are listening that Joel plays this for, and that message is thank you so much for um, coming out and supporting my show, BoJack Horseman, and for being my friend. If there are people at the screening that are not my friends who are listening to this, thank you too. That's great that you came out to see this. <laughs> Um, anyway, I just, I wanted to let you know that I'm feeling all the, the good vibes from New York, and uh, it really means a lot to me that you guys are, are supporting me, 
and uh, I hope you like the show. Uh, thank you so much. Have a wonderful summer night. Bye. Bye.